what we're gonna do for now is just move a bit. We don't have a lot of time still with them just because the game lives will be coming soon. But essentially I just wanted to say hello to them. I just want to try and get to the other side quickly. There's quite a nice view of them I think. We'll spend another few minutes and then we'll try and come back again late in the afternoon, earlier, sort of early evening even. Chalala. It's funny what ch chalala means. Lala is sleep. So it could be something to do with maybe a place they slept or how they sleep. Oh, look at that, Alex. It's just the one there. I thought it was two. I know oh, they are both there. Go, Henry. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'm for pulling. I'm just coming around the other side now. One has just stood up standing in the open. You can pull in there behind me or wherever you want. Sorry, Alex. Just make space for Henry. I'm going to go around because she's just got up to defecate. As you can see this morning, they've got very full bellies. comes in very handy. Just dip through that little. I mean to see the happy faces on the vehicles as well, you know, the guests on their first safari maybe, or maybe the many of safari. People are always so, in such a happy state when they're sitting in the back of the vehicles. Obviously something you and I can also associate with. Oh, look at that. Uh, beautiful light. And a beautiful cat. That's the one that we were looking at just now, the one lying on her back. The second lying flat under the, the tree there. Alex wants to speak quickly. She's either going to lie down, it looks like she wants to lie down. Just in case I thought she might also just decide to go for a bit of a drink. center as well obviously from that the defecating she was doing our line down predatory smell to it Other girl coming as well, look at that. Light itself. I mean, the light alone is beautiful. Never mind if you even have two thunderbirds right next to Trias Dam. Quite often, you know, we come past. Often it's quiet, and at other times you get the bit of greeting coming up, mate. Oh, 
That was interesting behavior. It's almost like she was blind. Uh, just a sign of living very close. Smell that lion dung, Alex. Very strong. Very, very strong scent. Having such full bellies as they've obviously eaten something quite large in the last 24 hours, 48 hours maybe. Stomach is literally very full. The stomach content pushing up against the diaphragm, meaning that they can't inhale as deeply as normal. So almost like you've got something just stopping all your muscles from allowing your lungs to, to really fill up with air. So that's why they're breathing faster, just shallower breathing. Sometimes also they get very hot when they're so full, extra literally burning energy digesting that protein so fast then you'll normally see them panting as well. So this is mostly just physically not being able to breathe deeper. <laughs> she looks quite happy almost. She was doing a stretch there. It looked like she might have been dreaming a lion dream. Running after a buffalo that doesn't want to fight. Trust me, not buffalo hunt. People tend to think animals hunting is always just the predator deciding, oh, I feel like buffalo tonight, and then walking around until they find one. But uh, a lot of hunts can turn into a nightmare as well. They obviously, lions win a lot of the time. Sometimes things like buffalo, zebras with their kicks, bushbuck or chemspuck, kudu, those antelope, all have got very sharp horns, warthogs with their tusks. All these animals that they've got to hunt, apart from being very alert, and very, very vigilant, like a zebra this morning. Apart from that, obviously they can, when it really comes to it, the prey can fight back as well. But I'm sure that's not what she's dreaming of. She's dreaming of a full belly and, and warm sunshine, which is exactly what she's got. Thank you. 